Hi, my name's Campbell Prince from the PyApp Language Software Group. In this session we're continuing on with setting up our Debian server for use with PHP. Today we'll be uh, downloading the Zen Debugger and we'll be installing that on Debian 6, which is running under our VirtualBox setup. Okay, on our wiki we've got some instructions, so browse to this place here and down the bottom there we go now if you've got um, if you've got PHP less than or equal to 5.2 so the 5.2 series or below um, you can download it from uh, straight off the internet from here uh, however if you have PHP 5.3 as we do in Debian uh, 6 uh, you need to download it off the main download page and that will require registration so if we go here We'll just see what that looks like. Okay, now we choose the, the Linux tab here. And we want the Studio Web Debugger. And for our purposes, we want the 32-bit. We've got our 32-bit virtual machine that we're running. Okay. Uh, you might have to register to download that. I already have an account with Zen, so I logged in using that. Okay, we'll download that uh, into the host folder. Uh, so this this corresponds to my shared host folder on VirtualBox. So I've placed it there once it was downloaded. There we see it there. And now I'll go to my um, PuTTY terminal here. Uh, so I'm logged into the Debian 6 server box. If I have a look at host lf which we set up with um, our VirtualBox shared folders and there we see the Zen Debugger tar archive. I'll just copy that over here uh, host lf. copy that here and we can tar untar it into here. Now we can make a folder called user lib Oops. Zend debugger and copy it. Zend. Copy the contents of that folder into user lib Zend debugger. There we see it all there, and we note in particular uh, that we do have 5.3. Uh, which matches the PHP version that we have installed. So now, there's the PHP configuration folder. And we'll go back to our instructions there. Now we want to uh, copy this um, configuration for the Zen debugger, like so. It's, uh, we want to load the 5.3 shared library. Uh, we allow um, our VirtualBox uh, host network to have access and because it's on our local machine we'll always expose the debugger. Not a good idea on a live system. Right, we'll edit those config files. So there's two sets of config files. There's one under the Apache debugger.ini. Um, here's one I've added um, previously, so we'll use that. You can just copy and paste from the instructions there. Uh, do note that the hash is now no longer used for a comment, so I just removed that line. Like so. And similarly for the command line site. Okay, we have the same thing there. Okay, now we restart Apache. 
By the way, I'm using tab to do command line completion in the bash shell. That's very convenient. Right, now we can go back to Firefox. And we'll go to... Oh, one more thing. Uh, for the debugger to work, we need to have the dummy file that was included here. So if we have a look at this, there's this file called dummy.php right here. And that needs to be copied into your uh, web document root. So in our case, for languageforge.local, that would be here, var dub 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 languageforge.local. That must be there. So there we see it, dummy.php. Okay. Now we go back to Firefox and we can test it at languageforge.local. So the way to test it is to get PHP to spit out some info about itself. So we'll just write a quick little test program here because this is visible um, in languageforge.local. Um, we'll call it test.php. Minus W, test.php. And we just write this. Open open PHP. Echo PHP info. And there we go, we're done. Now we go back to Firefox, language forge local test.php. Okay, here we see that we've got PHP version 5.3. Now in the additional INI files passed, we see that it has passed this file debugger.ini, that's a good sign. What we're really looking for is this line here with the Zen Debugger 5.3. If we don't see that line, no debugger. And also further down towards the bottom, uh, these are all just different configurations for various plugins and the Zen Debugger is down the bottom under Z for Zen. And there we go. Now these are the Zen Debugger settings. And here we can see that the Zen Debugger Allow Hosts is set to our, um, our VirtualBox uh, host network, like so. Okay, that's it. We have the Zen Debugger installed under our VirtualBox Debian 6 setup.